doing some damage on the alchemist. Yeah, this this alchemist is uh, it's not feeling so hot. Uh, he's doing what he can to uh, to defend this fawn for the glory of uh, the Sundered Lands, but that looks like it's going to be a, a martyr's death. All right, so the acid elemental finally dies uh, to the lightning elemental. Um, funny enough, how that uh, battle of the elementals turned out. So you got to better uh, make a post on the forums how uh, lightning elemental is better than acid elemental. Just kidding. Don't do it. <laughs> um. So, anyway, Zito has got his font back up there, which is a good thing. Voil Stormflyer enters the battlefield. Let's see what he's going to do. Also, with Deflect Electric, Chain Lightning, uh, Attack Electricity. Let's go back down here. Uh, so he decides to... Uh, was that a Firebomb? It's probably Firebomb. Yeah, because uh, Zito is... Uh, Bach Hopper. Both of them got damaged by the Skeezik Alchemist, so it's probably a fireball. Just alternate uh, these two skills if you want. So they're scoured and and take some damage. Four damage on Handmaster. Um, Alchemist just gonna live his life out where he is. Oh, Sand uh, Sand Scorpion. Interesting. Can't see those too much. Solidarity, uh, Hidden Sand, uh, Poisonous, Creep and Crawl. He's got uh, Upgrade, uh, Plus Def, uh, Stun, and uh, of course the Physical Attack. Uh, it's uh, Sand Scorpion, 67 Nora. Let's see what happens. Zetoa's turn. Uh, Zetoa is most likely gonna gonna end this Alchemist. Uh, also, Zetoa has some uh, a lot of free movement here. Um, the Berserker is still around here somewhere. In hibernate. Yeah, there, there goes the alchemist. So Zito is at the moment in a very, very good position. In a very good position. He's got a lot of neat champs out. Uh, this uh, Salama Daredevil just shooting into the blue, um, not hitting anything at all. So he's trying. To, he's just moving around erratically, trying to find that, trying to find that uh, berserker. But it's not to be found. Um, I'm assuming he's he's being such a daredevil uh, thanks to deflect. Uh, but sometimes that might be wrong. Second lightning elemental uh, from Zedoist down here. Uh, put in the south font. Uh, yeah, boy, oh boy. Three against one font. So, uh, Zito is, uh, actually now it's four. Four against one font. Um, but counting that out, since it's just been taken, uh, Zito has had 24 Nora advantage for quite a while. Uh, being, making him able to play uh, a lot more champs, so a lot more runes in general. Stun uh, onto the uh, Spark Crone by the uh, Sand Scorpion. Sand Scorpion, end of turn. Of course, becoming stealthed since he's on the sand. Um, Lightning Elemental most likely going to move up towards Shrine. Uh, this uh, Solomon Daredevil will spend a couple more a a AP on de-stealthing the... Uh, or not. Just moves right at to the Shrine. Interesting. He moved his Lightning Elemental all the way to the back, or almost all the way to the back. Is it just going to camp there, not doing much? I assume. That would bring it up. But Zetoos is playing this quite well so far. Uh, Dagdapede not looking too hot here. Not at all. Uh, the only thing uh, he has on the field at the moment is a Stealth Scorpion right here. And a... Uh, a uh, Berserker, Drexar Berserker, which is also stealth somewhere in this vicinity. Uh, another Voil comes into play, a Voil Stormflyer. The second Stormflyer is right here. You got two Stormflyers, two, uh, two Lightning Elementals, uh, a Daredevil, which is the second one, the first one got killed, and a, a Sparkrone uh, for, uh, <laughs> for 
Frazidoas um, versus, yeah, well, versus, I just listed them. Cleansing Emerald played uh, to free Sparkrone of his stunnedness, uh, moving uh, Sparkrone into contest range of this font. I'm not sure, I forgot where he stood before, maybe it was, it was here, wasn't he in contest already? I'm not sure. Anyway, that font uh, will stay contested. I'm, I'm guessing he's just forcing to move the uh, the, the uh, scorpion um, for some more H uh, more AP, so it doesn't dump a double attack onto the Sparkron. A uh, minor minor thing. Uh, if you check out how this battlefield is looking right now, uh, it's very, 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 very much in favor of uh, Zedus. Second, uh, second Berserker uh, coming out for uh, for Dagda uh, promptly uh, comes out with initiative, of course, uh, and promptly hops into that low HP. I think I believe he was on seven HP. Uh, Daredevil, uh, no, uh, no deflect up, but <laughs> uh, when that Daredevil gets killed, there's an area around him that um, you know, Death Nova kind of style. So the the guy takes seven damage here, or took, takes twelve really. Let's go check out tops. Acid Elemental is now moving, uh, moving towards Northwest Font. Northwest Font um, does have a relic, the uh, banner. So uh, it'll take a couple turns to. Uh, make sure he can secure that font. Dagda, how are you going to come back from this? How are you going to come back from this? Alright, um, well, I'll take that back. Uh, we have a, uh, we have something. We have a lot of stuff happening right now. Tested next turn. A lot of stuff is threatening your shrine. What are these storm flyers up to? What are they up to? see uh, one hit reflect, second hit damage, 42 on elemental, 10 on uh, scorpion. Scorpion is not going to survive next turn. Um, Dagda is about to run out of time on this turn. Oh, we missed a deploy, Basilisk Templar. So he does decide to deploy something on top. Uh, he decides to make it a Basilisk Templar. And uh, <laughs> Still leaves Lightning Elemental room to uh, move into uh, contest, nonetheless. <laughs> what am I missing? There's something in stealth here that belongs to Dagda. I probably missed a stealth deploy. So Dagda had a fawn here. There's something here. Hmm. 
maybe you can enlighten me. But like I predicted, uh, Scorpion gone. Things are moving in. Uh, Berserk is going to be next on the uh, kill list. Uh, Zito is playing an overcharged golem. Uh, Dagda's turn again. Let's check out top. Um, Lightning Elmol decided to ignore top and just move in uh, for the potential uh, shrine kill. Uh, before that, Dagda probably has some other things to do. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this ends up. Dagda is really sticking this game out. Um, so Dagda's uh, Berserker stealth and uh, it was right here. I'm really surprised what's going on here, because uh, either I've been doing a batch of keep track of uh, stealth units, um, which I don't think I have, or uh, I've just planned a simple missed a stealth deploy. Oh, there we go. Oh, th that's the, the second Berserker? I, I could have sworn it. I saw it up here. But okay, so the second Berserker moved here. Um, that was originally the one, not the one that was deployed. So this this is the one that was deployed. Um, that's right here, or now here. <laughs> um, it cloaked. So this berserker is very, yeah, it's very very dead. And this berserker's lifetime is probably not too long either. Eight HP. Well, gonna do. Well, is gonna do enough. More than enough. So Dagda, uh, this uh, shrine, uh, this font down here is uh, is definitely uh, Zedoises. Zedoises is uh, doing some position switching up here too uh, with the uh, Basilisk Templar. Uh, this is this is quite quite bad. I mean, Dagda is starved for Nora. He's been trying to play champs. I'm, I'm just imagining uh, how starved he is. Um, he's trying to play champs. Uh, it, it, SL has higher. Um, if their Nora costs are higher anyway. Right, so he manages to take it back just with a crushing charge. And uh, that does quite a bit of good. Uh, petrifying Gaze um, being played here on the Lightning Elemental. I think that's a really, really cool skill. So Basilisk Templar are doing some, some good for Dagna on top. Although, damage-wise, they're, they're both on par. Um, I'll have to see. Uh, Dagda's really trying to stick this out, trying to come back from this. Um, I can understand how, how Dagda is trying to win. Uh, he's currently number two on the Limited League, uh, playing versus 36. And he he really wants to take this home. Let me sit, sip some coffee. This coffee's getting cold. This game's long. So Dag was thinking hard right now. Um, I can't say if this is mannered, um, but he he's really thinking hard. Okay, so he he un unroots, I would say. Um, he transfigures his shrine. So there there comes Arde and the Zilla. Uh, the Zealot and plays a Baldar before he does that. Still has his uh, Berserker, and I'm assuming he's trying to relocate and make a new home for himself at that northwest font. Uh, it's all he could do. Uh, gives Zetoas the turn, and uh, Zetoas still has that Lightning Elemental around. Um, Lightning Elemental. Lightning Elemental doing some damage. Slowly moving things up. So Dagda has forfeited these shrines. Four shrines. Uh, four fonts. Excuse me. Yes, four shrines. That would be awesome. Um, I don't know why I confuse them. Sometimes I just mess up that way when I talk, I guess. Four fonts currently for uh, for Zetoas uh, versus one Dagda. Uh, yeah, this is a five, five font map. So someone will always have the advantage unless uh, something's Contested, which currently nothing is contesting each other. 